Hello. Okay, guys, I am going to show you how I do my makeup for TV slash the videos that I do for you guys. Um, many of you guys have asked me to do a video like this for a long time, and I just haven't like gotten it together. So I'm going to show you how I do my makeup. Okay. Um, so first of all, we're just going to jump right in face. There's no makeup on my face. Um, and so it's clean. This is the foundation that I use. Um, it's called black up. Um, and I think, I don't know if it's a British foundation or whatever, I'm not sure, but this is, um, what I use. The color that I use is HC06. It's called black up. So I'm not a fancy pants when it comes to makeup. Like in other words, yeah, I have some brushes, but y'all brushes is expensive. Uh, I mean, I don't be, and it, so I'm a little basic. <laughs> so if this looks a little ghetto fabulous, welcome. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so I literally just rub it in and I've never done my makeup like this before. And I got like, um, a special little fluorescent light thing so I can see how I do it. So I can do it for you guys. Anyway, I'm kind of excited about this. I know this is so not glamorous and any makeup artists out there, I know you're going to be like, Dr. Jan, we know you can do it a little better than that. But yes, this is literally how I do my makeup. How many of you put on foundation like this? Please don't tell me I'm the only one, or maybe I am the only one. Like I literally rub it in. <laughs> I used to use a brush a while back, actually. Maybe I'll go back to that, I don't know. So um, as you see, I like to make sure the foundation is on my eyelids um, because it gives a nice base to eyeshadow and I'll show you the eyeshadow that I usually use. I have a lot of different eyeshadows, but um, I'll show you the one that I use most often. All right, foundation, and I got some on my lips, but I don't mind getting some on my lips because I feel like it just makes my lipstick set longer. So anyway, y'all can laugh at me because of how I put on my foundation, but I'm not a makeup artist. Anyway, uh, Black Up, this is HC06. This is the color that I used. Um, and basically, if you're wondering like how the colors are gonna look, if you see basically any video that I ever do, this is what I put on. So if it looks a little ashy right now, and I'm just noticing like I have a fluorescent light that's on the on the phone to brighten me up even more, um, it's probably literally because of that. But it looks, it blends really nicely and it's literally every time you see me in a video, I'm wearing this. Okay, so this is a, um, a um, under eye concealer highlighter. It's actually called Studio Skin Full Color. Actually, this is a 24 hour foundation, but I use this as like an under eye situation um smashbox um i got this suggestion where i was at the dr oz show and one of the guys was doing my makeup and i was like what is that that you're using and literally i have this one and then i know it's like literally about to run out so i bought a whole nother tub of it that's the other thing i do um ladies and gents any of you who wear makeup out there i buy multiples of the products that i like because i do not like to run out it is like a fear of mine, okay? So I put some on a little sponge. I know I need to wash these. I'm not a makeup artist. I know, I know. But anyway, so putting this here, and it looks kind of yellow, or kind of like, you know, like, what? Is that the right color? But I think it is. And a makeup artist who really did my makeup nicely, he, he when he did it, I was like, oh my God, it's awesome. And once again, this is literally what I do every single day. So every day that you guys see me and you see me every day, you see me literally every day of my life because I'm coming to you on the Googler Schmoogler, um, I am wearing this makeup. So if it looks funny now, it's what I wear every day and it don't look funny then. Um, okay, so I do this, it takes a little time, you gotta work it in. Da, 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 da. And yes, Christy, you said as soon as you find something that you like, they stop making it, child. Who are you telling? I buy stuff in bulk. Like I buy like that foundation, the black up foundation. I buy two or three at a time. Okay. This looks a little yellow here, but I'm telling you like in the right light and maybe after the end, I'll take you to the light. I do a little of this. I got that from like some of like watching the Instagram videos on makeup. Do a little of this too. Kind of like, you know, jazz it up a little bit. Anyway, this is what the makeup people do. And like when I used to get my makeup done in New York and stuff, they would just kind of highlight me here. Oops, put a little too much here. Trying to spread it out, y'all. Trying to spread it out. Okay. How are we looking? All right. All right. So, 
All right, so we got that. Fabulous. Okay, yes, darling, yes. All right, that's that. Okay, once again, this is Smashbox, okay? Um, Studio Fix, um, this is full coverage, and what color is this? It's 4.0 is this particular color. You can see how this is like worn, used to the ground, okay? Um, by the way, I see y'all. Thank you for the stars. Thank you guys for the super chats and the super stickers. And the stars, you guys, was amazing. Okay, ladies and gents, this eyeshadow palette is like, this is literally the eyeshadow palette of my dreams, okay? I love this eyeshadow palette. It's Anastasia Soft Glam. And they have like a couple different ones, like Soft Glam 1 and 2. Wait, and let me show you. I love it so much because you know I buy multiples. This is the first one. Look at this. Look how worn it is. And I was like, oh, don't show them this one because this is like all busted because I use it so, so much. But I have a newer one. So I'm going to show you this one. The colors are flipping amazing. And I really think that they go with, honestly, like, honestly, I really believe that they probably go with almost any skin tone. Look at these colors, y'all. Is this not, like, are these not beautiful colors? Holy schmoly, okay? So we're going to do our eyes now, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one as the base, and then these two in the crease, and probably, like, this one in the, um, in the top, and then, like, that one in the bottom, so scientific don't you think all right so anyway this is burnt orange for those of you let me know by the way if you guys have any of these palettes and if you like them so this is burnt orange and what i do is i literally put it and again i have some brushes but like honestly i'm just so used to doing everything with my fingers i literally do everything with my fingers um that does not sound good does it i mean i do all of my makeup with my fingers yeah okay we'll make sure we clarify that a little bit okay Put this on this lid and i just kind of like it also because it gives it just a, like a nice base this is the and you guys know me from like from my videos and by the way i so appreciate you watching you're like amazing you know i love you more than anything um but um i have lots of different eyeshadows and sometimes i'll like rock out with the blue or i'll do like a little bit of a fluorescent or like um kind of like a iridescent color i do that every now and then right but this is like my main palette. Okay, so I did this color. That was what I did on my lids. So you can kind of see it right now. What we're gonna do now is, um, Tiffany, you're saying pretty colors, right? They're so pretty. What I'm gonna do now is a combination of this one and this one, okay? Um, and I like to mix it because for a while I was just doing this one and it was a little too red. So I wanted to kind of warm it up. So literally what I do is I'll go like, I'll go like this, boop, boop. Uh, boop, 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 like that, you know what I mean? Just kind of mixing it up. I'll try to blow, um, get the excess off, and I literally go into the creases just like that. Fabulous, darling, fabulous. So we do a little bit of that, and I've got brushes here because, of course, it comes with this compact. If it didn't, I'd probably be, like, doing my own. So once again, I'm, I'm using two boop, 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 little mixture, okay? And let's do this one. All right, fabulous, fabulous. Oh, Sharon, thank you for the stars. I see some of you walling out with the super chats and the super stickers, y'all are amazing. Okay, so got that. And what I've started doing too is just bringing it a little bit out um, beyond my eye. Like I used to kind of stop right there. Um, ladies and gents, when you do your makeup, consider like, you know, bringing it out a little bit just to kind of extend that. Now, again, this is not like perfect because I'm using a different light, but we're not going to make excuses. Okay. Now this is one of my favorite ones to go underneath, um, the, um, like to highlight the brow bone. Okay. So this one's called, um, oh, bronze. Actually this one, this is what we're going to use. Bronze. Now what's this? Yes, hunties. Yes. All right, we're gonna get a little bronze here. And you see that, and don't worry. What I have learned though, y'all, this is what I have learned. The key to making any makeup look natural and not like, <gasps> like stark and stuff. You see how like you can see how stark the lines are? The key is blending. Oh my gosh, blending is everything. So what I have learned is oftentimes when I look at someone and their makeup is super stark, what I realize is that often I feel like it's just not blended well, okay? I mean, yeah, there are other factors too. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the lid and we're gonna blend at the end, okay? We're not done. So now what we gotta do is like give like a little bit of bing and a bing to like be like pop, 
you know? All right, I'm gonna use the same one. This is um, this is bronze, okay? Now watch this, watch it, watch it. You're gonna be like, what? Bing! Yes! Okay, watch this. Bing! Yes! Okay, and then we're gonna finish off with the rest of the eye and then we're gonna blend, okay? So do this little thing. He has like a little stripe that I do in the middle and then we'll blend in a second. Well, he's not done, honey. Now what I do, and I learned this from makeup artists too, is instead of lining my um, the bottom lid with a, like a black or a brown, which I used to do, I learned this from a makeup artist at, when I did Fox. The Fox News makeup artist, them ladies and gentlemen, ain't no better makeup artist in the country than Fox News makeup artists. I am telling you, I have learned so much from them. All right, so um, the makeup artist, she taught me, she's like, use kind of like a little bit of a, like a like a brownish reddish. And I was like, oh, is it gonna make my eyes look red? And it, what it does is actually on TV, it actually looks really good. So we'll do a little bit of that. Now maybe that's a little bit too much, but we'll get a little bit of that going on. Okay, fabulous. Now, we're not done yet. Now we wanna make, like, pop everything. So I'm gonna use the same bronze, and you can interchange them, but I just like this one. And I always go, like, in the corner of my eye like that, and, like, the corner of this eye, kinda like that too. So I look super awake. Okay. Any makeup artists out there, don't be laughing at my skills, okay? I am just a doctor who sees page family doctor at that, who sees patients and talks a little bit on the Google Schmoogler and on TV. Okay. And I'm doing the best I can. All right. Now let's blend this before we go on to the next parts. Okay. So you see how it's already starting to look. So we want to blend. Okay. And I like to be careful with this, but so you see this line, like you just don't want lines. Like we want everything to kind of smooth out right isn't that nice like see how it smooths yes and let's smooth this one out so you don't want that line between the two right you want that to be smooth okay now we're cooking with gas that's what i'm talking about oh my god you guys are amazing with the stars thank you so much you're so sweet i hope this is helpful by the way like i hope this is super helpful now what i'm going to do is just blend this a little bit okay but i'll use my pinky finger because see i have stuff on all the fingers and i don't want to put any more but i just want to blend it just a little bit okay so we're going to do this see yes and you can do this with many of the colors you already have at home see a lot of these things you probably have like a highlighter that you can use you already have like a darker color that you can use right this hopefully will give you some ideas about what you already have um, and you can just kind of be like, oh, let me try to use it this way. Okay, now, okay, ladies and gents, let's now do our brows. Because one thing that I do is I have thin, I do have thin eyebrows. Well, relatively thin, okay? It was probably from like in the 90s when I was plucking them all out like everybody was doing. This is my favorite um, pencil, uh, uh, eyeliner, uh, eyebrow pencil. This is MAC, and I like it because you can, you can uh, push it up. I buy these bulk. I like literally buy 10 at a time. And the cool thing is, actually I've used this so much, it's like half broken. The cool thing is this side has a little brush. This side you can like wind up so it's always sharp. So I literally, like I said, ladies and gents, I buy 10 of these almost literally at a time because I, mama ain't trying to be without her pencil. Okay, let's do this. See, it's kind of different doing my makeup in a phone. That's what feels weird about this. I was like, why does this feel different? You know why? Because usually I'm doing makeup in a mirror, but I'm I'm filming this, right? So it's like actually doing my makeup in a phone and it's not exactly the same thing as a mirror. Um, all right, let me try to get this without messing it up. So that's why it just feels a little different to me. And if I, and probably why I'm a little bit slower too. Um, guys, write your favorite products in the comments, by the way, because as I always say, Oftentimes the stuff that you write either helps me or helps other people who are watching. So, um, and also indicate your shading too, because it may help other people. Like if you are, um, you know, what your, what your skin coloring is and what palettes you like, cause it's definitely going to help us. Um, uh, all right. I'm sorry. This is like a little, it's hard for me to do this like this. All right. Okay. Now let's do this other one. Okay. Let me see if I can do this. I'm like, Okay, let's see if we can do this one a little faster. So, all right, this is, like I said, this is my, literally my morning routine every day. 
The only thing that really changes is the eyeshadow. I get adventurous and creative with the eyeshadow and the lipstick. You guys know sometimes I do like a, a red lip. Sometimes uh, my go-to lip though is like a, is a, like a neutral-ish, like a neutral peach pink kind of lip. Subtle, you know, that's like something I love. Sometimes I'll throw the purple in there. You guys have seen my like, um, my lipstick collection. All right, oh, the other thing I like to do too, and I know it looks a little dark, but it's not perfect. But what I like to do is I like to, don't laugh at me. I'm doing my makeup in a phone, not a mirror. But I like to extend it out just a little bit, okay? Just imagine this is done better and don't laugh, please. Ah, uh, come on, Jesus. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna have to leave well enough alone. And I'm just gonna try to like blend this a little bit. Just know that my brows are not perfect because I'm doing it in a phone and not in a mirror and it just feels funny. Okay, now, you all ready for the next step? Okay, well, let's do this. Next step is, this is, I learned this from the Dr. Oz ladies. Them Dr. Oz ladies who did the makeup at the Dr. Oz show, Linda and her crew, yes, shout out. I did 50 Dr. Oz show episodes, y'all. And I learned so many amazing tricks from them. Hold on, where is? And um, what I, one of the things I really learned from them is the importance of lining, like the liner. Why can't I find the liner I want? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, by the way, this is my, this is what I'm pulling things out. So if you're wondering why I can't find anything, it's because these are all my liners. Oh, here we go. So they taught me the value of lining the eye because it helps the eye pop on TV and whatever. Like, even though I have all of this eyeshadow on and stuff, like we've done a lot of zhuzhing, right? And it looks nice, but it's still not like pa pow, pa pow. And they taught me the value of lining. So this is a, um, a felt, um, like not felt, but like it's like a liquid eyeliner. This is just MAC and there's a lot of great ones, but I like this one because it's kind of cheap. Let me see if I can do this on the phone. And they taught me to do like a really nice, healthy um, line, especially when we do our lashes, okay? And I'll talk you through the, the lashes too. If you've never used lashes, this might be the time. Okay, just like a nice, healthy little line here. Can't believe I did this. Awesome sauce. Yes, hunty. Yes. All right, so here we go. So, okay, so if you look at one eye versus the other, you see how like in TV or whatever, it's like, oh, there's her eye. I can see it, right? It's not like you can't see my eye, but you see how like it comes like it's like bam pow, right? All right, so let's get this other one. Oops, come on, Jen, let's get it together, buddy. Let's do this, sis. All right, nice healthy line here. And again, this liner is MAC. I like it. I think it works nicely and it's a reasonable price. I've used like Kat Von D's um, and I bring, and by the way, I bring the line out just a little bit just to elongate. And also it's nice with the lashes. Like you won't end up even seeing this. So it's not even a big deal, but like with the lashes, it's really good. I tried like Kat Von D's and a few others and what you really want. And this is the thing. I'm a girl who I do not like to pay a lot of money for makeup. I'm a drugstore makeup girl. What I have learned though, is that quality matters when you are doing your makeup. So like these shadows, the difference between super, and this is not super expensive, this, well, it's, it's, it's expensive. I think this, this palette's like 40 bucks, that 40 something bucks, that's not cheap. And I would never used to pay that money, but what I realize is the difference is the pigment. See, when you get really, really good, um, and often it, good means expensive, often, not always, but when you get really, really high quality eye makeup, um, eyeshadow, it means you have to use less to make it look good, okay? And to make it look pigmented. Um, and the quality is just better. And the same thing with the liner. Why you want a good liner is because I have drugstore liners because I keep going back to them because I like just refuse to let go of my drugstore stuff. Like this is, um, this is a Rimmel, Rimmel or Rimmel. Like I keep going back to them, but the problem is it's not as smooth. So when I go across my line, sometimes it's a bit jagged because it doesn't like line as smoothly. So I'm saying this is from a girl who like is a drugstore brand makeup girl and who never used to spend um, a lot of money for makeup. Okay, now let's go to blush and then we're gonna do, 
And then we're going to do lashes, darling. Lashes. Yes, hunties. Oh, my God. So this is one of my favorite, favorite blushes ever. Anastasia. Oh, wait. Hold on. See, I have so many of them. Look, that one's broken. I have, like, multiples. Wait one second. Told y'all I got multiples of everything. You ain't going to catch me without my stuff. You ain't going to catch me not ready. Okay? I, I am not going to not be ready. But bam Okay. These colors are so great. I think they're gotta be, they gotta be like great for everybody, okay? So what I like to use when I am like going hard, like serious, I use these two. When I wanna be a little bit more like oh, soft and sweet, I use these two. So let's do soft and sweet. So what I actually do is I just put the brush like right here. I just be putting it right in the middle. Mm. Okay. And what I also learned before I went to uh, the Fox News ladies taught me like when I get my makeup, I used to put my blush up too high and didn't even understand it. They would put my blush lower and I always felt like, why are they putting my blush so low? But honeys, at least for me, this is where it needs to be. And I was always like, -da 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 -da. and no, 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 no. So you see, yes, yes, hunties. So let's get that glow that like we're doing sweet. Okay, get the extra off. Okay, yes, love it. Oh my gosh, yes, hunties, yes. Oh my God, I love doing my makeup every day. Every day. All right, right, is this not gorge? Child, and oh, by the way, I get no commissions or anything from this. I'm not doing this so you can buy these products so that you, I can get a commission. I'm doing this because many of you guys ask what my makeup colors are, and I've never talked about this really. And I think I always said I was going to, and I never did. So that's what we're doing. Um, so buy away, and I think you're gonna be in love, okay? Now, let's talk a little bit about highlighter because highlighter is all the rage, but on TV, uh-uh, no, 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 no. So I love a good bronzer highlighter, you know, to make, like this is one of my favorites. This is, Huda Beauty, oh my God, love, wait. And I have, um, and then also I love Fenty Beauty's, this one, to give a little highlighter. So let's go ahead and use it. But this is the thing, for TV, uh -uh. no, looking iridescent on TV will just make you look greasy, okay? You'll just be looking greasy. Yeah, shiny and greasy, but, but we's not doing TV tonight. So let's use a little bit of Fenty, uh, this is Fenty Beauty, such a fan of Rihanna. And let's just do like a little, see how, yeah! what 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 but on tv you'll just be looking like a grease ball like shiny and you don't want to look like that so never i never ever and i learned that from makeup artists too they don't do at least for me and maybe things have changed and maybe it depends on the tv you're doing whatever but like uh-uh that no 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 i don't get the highlighter when i do that but now and then sometimes this is what i'll do too so since we're not doing tv this is Huda Beauty, right? Bronzer. And what I do is I take my finger and I do this. I'm nervous because I'm so excited. Look at that, right? What? What? Yes. Yes. And then like, you get like a little here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just wait for it. I know you're like, what's she doing? Wait for it, okay? Just wait, honeys. Okay. Yes. Now, okay, what we need to do now now it is time for our lashes, okay? Now, for those of you who have never tried lashes, by the way, I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna show you the ones I'm putting on. I'm gonna use these, okay? For those of you who have never used lashes, it is time, okay? You do not have to pay a lot for lashes. You can reuse lashes. I reuse lashes every now and then. Sometimes I use them into the ground and some of y'all be like, hey, Hey, Dr. Jen, that lash on the last leg, you need to get you some new lashes. I'd be like, okay. Um, I reuse lashes until literally they, they are falling apart because why not? They're, they're not, they're not like the cheapest and they're actually more and more expensive from the drugstore. But what I buy is Ardell lashes, CVS child, Walgreens, uh, Rite Aid. Okay. I get the duo, um, glue you can get the white glue it'll dry into your skin like whatever skin color it is so what i do is this you take this you put a little bit of hold on i'm a little nervous because i'm over here doing a live tutorial in a topic i probably ain't got no business talking about putting a little bit of glue see you don't need a lot either if you put too much you don't need too much see look at that you don't need too much okay all right 
And guys, I see you guys are putting your um your favorite makeup in the chat. Put your favorite makeup in the chat. The your, the product. What's the product you cannot do not live without? You do not leave home without. Yes. What? Mm. Now it's white because you can see the glue. Don't you worry. It's, it'll dry. It'll dry. Watch. Hold on. Get that right. Yes. I feel like we should go somewhere. Where y'all want to go? Where y'all want to go? Where, where should we meet up? Okay. Let's do the other one. And then we're going to go through lipsticks because I want to, um, we'll pick out a lipstick for this and I'll show you like my, I'll show you like my classic look for T for, um, for TV in my videos. Oh, see how this popped up. Come on, little guy. Come on, little boogie. There we go. That's what we need. That's right. Okay. I'm nervous because there's hundreds of you watching this. So don't talk about me. I don't usually put my lashes on in front of hundreds of people. All right, let's see how this does. Yeah, I think this will work. And this will, um, this will dry too. So let's let it dry. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, while this dries, it's time to go to the case of lipsticks. Now, you know, this is my wallet, AKA lipsticks, receipts, lipsticks. So let me show you the lipstick I use, like the lip gloss I use every single day as a base or even just the full thing. This is um, MAC lip glass and it's called, I have multiples of these, hold on. I, the sticker came off. I think it's called Magically Delightful, but I literally buy 10 of these at a time because I'm so afraid that MAC is gonna discontinue and I'm not happy. Yes! Oh God, I so feel like myself. Mm. Ooh, one of you guys asked me to, to list all my makeup products. Such a great idea. I will totally do that. I will list all the products. Oh my God. Gorge, right? And we're not, wait, this is just the beginning, hunties. Now, let me show you all. Um, and this is especially great for brown girls. Um, oh my God, this lip liner. And I need to actually, hold on. I need to, I need to sharpen it. Where's my sharpener? Oops, 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 hold on. It's so my favorite, oh, here we go. So my favorite lip liner is this one, y'all. Look how toe up from the flow of this. Look, my liners and I, we ride hard, hard, yes. All right, so this one is Night Moth. This is more of a burgundy, I wear this less, but this one, this is great for women of color. Um, because it really lines and it's like our, it's like many of our colors. So look, I need to, um, let me just sharpen this real quick. And then I'm going to show you exactly. We're just going to sharpen this in the sink. My sink's like, what are you doing? All right. So this is the color. Is that not gorge? Right? Yes. Little of this. Little of this. Okay. And then I kind of like do a little of that, right? And again, pardon any errors because I don't usually do my makeup in a phone, but this is still, that's still the beginning. That's just the base. Like maybe if I'm going, I'm like going to CVS or whatever, I'll just do that. This is one of my favorite like lipsticks to wear on top of it as of yet. This is Anastasia. So when I wear red, I wear an Anastasia color. This is the pink counterpart that I have. It's called Dusty Rose. And this is the color. And I kind of like it because it's like a really nice neutral, especially for brown girls. What? Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just excited. So, um, so wait, we're not done yet. <clears throat> And I got my, like, I got my night, I got my bed, <laughs> my sleep shirt on, but I'm like, I got to go out. I ain't going nowhere, but let's see here. So this is how I look um, when I do my videos. 
And um, every time I see you, every time I see you on TV or I see you in my videos, which you guys, by the way, you're so gracious to watch. And by the way, thank you guys for all the stars and the super chats and the super stickers. You guys are amazing and I cannot thank you enough. This is how I look. This is the makeup I wear. Um, what I'm gonna do is, um, and yes, Christy, white girls can, can rock the rose too. I say it, maybe except for the base, except for, I would say maybe except for the foundation um, and, the, on the, and the concealer. Everything else, um, and by the way, you know, everything else I think is really sort of color and cultural neutral, culturally neutral. I think any woman of any color, any man of any color can rock all of this stuff. From the blush, remember this blush, this is for anybody. Oops, that's the bad one. <laughs> Sorry. This is the good one. Anybody can wear these colors, okay? So I'm gonna write um, all the colors down in the comments so you can see exactly what I'm using. When you watch my videos, see if you can pick out the products and see how, like you can see literally how it looks. For those of you who are new to lashes, see how the lash glue dried, right? There's no like lash color. And also you see how that brown underneath the brown actually give your eyes depth. So I wanna thank all of the makeup artists that have ever done my makeup for the last 10 years of me doing TV. I have learned from you all. This is how I've learned this. And by the way, for all of you guys who are out there getting your makeup done, if someone does your makeup and you like how they do it, you write down the names of the products and you go out and buy them and experiment with them. So I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna write down um, the, um, the names of all the products um, in the comments. I'm gonna get ready and do this now. Thank you again for the stars and the super chats and everything. Let me know if this was helpful. If you like this, if you want more of this kind of stuff, um, you guys are awesome. I love you. And now I gotta figure out where to go because I'm like, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. Bye.